Shalom, I'm Rabbi Baris from Temple Beth Am. And our Torah portion this week is called Kitetze. Kitetze tells us about different laws of marriage. As it says, Ki kachish isha, when a man takes a woman and they get married. But what we see in this week's Torah portion are a variety of different types of marriages that happen in difficult circumstances. It's not uh, two people who met in a bar or a couple who met on J-date or on birthright. It has different ideas, like if a man meets a woman on the battlefield from an opposing army and he decides that he desires her and he wants to meet her. These are imperfect situations. And one of the ideas that we learn from the Torah is that we live in an imperfect world. And the laws of the Torah are meant to teach us in an imperfect world. On the other hand, the world that God created, we know, is perfect. However, one of the ideas that we see in the Talmud, in a tractate called Sota, is that when God makes a shidduch, when God makes a connection between two people, it's as hard for him as it is as it was to split the Red Sea. So how could anything be hard for God? And why is it so hard for God to find couples that should be married? I think the idea is that for God, the world that he set up is perfect. And splitting the Red Sea went against the laws of nature that he had already set up. And so that became kashe, that became difficult for him. Just like when you take two people who are distinct and different, and God tries to merge their souls into one, this is difficult for him because it goes against the laws of nature, like when he split the Red Sea. So for God, the world is perfect. But for, for us who live in an imperfect world, for us humans who turn on the news every day and see only bad news, we've seen a lot of bad news lately. On top of Corona, we now see what happened in Haiti, and of course, the terrible news coming out of Afghanistan. But the truth is, whenever we turn on the news, there's always going to be bad news. Because as the Torah reminds us, we live in an imperfect world. And so unlike God, who finds it difficult to go against the laws of nature because his world is perfect, our world is imperfect. And so we must strive to continue to find these imperfections in our world and work together to fix them. The world will always be imperfect and the news will always be bad. It's not a matter of when are we going to get to a day when all of the news on TV will be good. It's a matter of trying to figure out what the bad news is and work together to figure out how we can solve it. As the Torah reminds us in this week, unfortunately, we live in an imperfect world, but we have the Torah to help guide us to fix those problems. And someday we pray, arrive to a world that's perfect as God had planned.